guys and welcome back to my channel so as you can see I've already done my base makeup if you do want an actual tutorial on how I get my base then please let me know I am loving the faux freckle look lately so I've been all about that <laughs> so for the eyes we're going to first start off by drawing out the shape so I'm going in with a cream eye base this is from NYX it is the jumbo pencil in milk and I'm mapping it out with an eye concealer brush first, drawing out the wing and then kind of creating a cut crease to join onto that. Similar to the butterfly look that I did a couple videos ago. The thing I love about this eye base is it's so easy to like rub out and fix up if you have made a mistake and they're not quite even. Then I'm going to take my eyeshadow. This is like a monochromatic look. I'm literally just using one eyeshadow today. It's super, super easy. So I'm taking this absolutely stunning holographic eyeshadow from makeup geek or duochrome not holographic sorry duochrome eyeshadow from makeup geek called black light i believe it is a gorgeous like reflective purple shade but it has blue it has like <clears throat> like silvery tones like it's just absolutely stunning like whichever way you look like it's a different shade i just love it so much so it's like two shadows in one basically <laughs> but yeah, i do love the blue kind of reflect it has and it is a soft mauvey tone so it's not too intense on the eyes and I just, yeah, I just really like it, especially with the brown eyes. <laughs> so once you've done both eyes and they're pretty, like, even, you know, even enough, we're going to go in with an eyeliner. So I first went in with this, like, purple liquid liner from, I think it's Rimmel in the shade Cool AF. However, it was a little bit too, like, navy blue, deep kind of purple. Like, it just it wasn't the right purple shade for, for like, my liking. So I decided to go in with this liquid lipstick. This is the NYX Suede Liquid Lipstick. And I can't quite remember the shade. I'll leave it linked down below for you guys. It's just a beautiful, vibrant purple. So basically, I just used that really deep eyeliner as like a base. And then I went over top with the Suede Liquid Lipstick. So I like to apply it to the back of my hand. And then I use this Real Techniques kind of more definer brush um, to just kind of draw it over the top. And I just I liked how the purple looked. I feel like it was a nicer purple with this eye look than that kind of bluey tone purple. Just a little FYI, it isn't an eye safe product, so proceed with caution. But like I'm not putting it in my eye, so I thought it was fine. Next is the Diamante part. So I'm going in with these different size Diamantes. I'm using the smallest part on the inner third of my eye. So I place down the eyelash glue first. I do four spots first to make sure, you know, I have the right spacing and everything like that, get an initial idea. And then I do the same thing on the other side to make sure, you know, I've got the right measurements that make sense. Just so that it, even on both sides. I don't know why it took me so long to like, get that point across. But basically just to make sure they're even. Then as I get about halfway across the lid, I switch up and use bigger diamantes. So just the next size up. And I just use that size all the way to the end of the eye wing thing. <laughs> I really like how the different sizes looked on the eye. You can use the same one all the way across. I just liked changing it up a little bit. It looks cool, more of a different effect kind of thing. And I had to make sure that they were kind of semi-even. Like, I mean, we're not perfect here, but I was, I was pretty happy with how it turned out. <laughs> For lashes, I'm going in with these amazing feisty lashes from Anitude. Oh, they just look so good with this look. And they're just like really feline, so they complement that kind of wing look. Then I'm going to open up the eyes a little bit with this nude eye coal from Models Prefer. Just applying that to my waterline. And for bottom lashes, I literally didn't touch any like eyeshadow there. I just wanted to keep it really plain and just have the focus on the lids. You know, it's quite a lot going on. So I went in with the eyeliner as my mascara because I didn't have any purple mascara. So I used that as like my mascara initially, but then I wanted it to be a little bit more vibrant purple. So I just went over top with the liquid lipstick on my bottom lashes. It's up to you. If you guys have purple mascara, then 100% use that. I just didn't, so I used purple. I was just, you know, being resourceful, you know. <laughs> but that, guys, concludes today's eye makeup look. I did do my lips after this, however, I wasn't really in shot. So I'll just leave linked, like, the video that I did use this lip combo in. That really, like, natural, everyday, stay-at-home makeup look I did. I did this same lip combo. So I'll leave that linked for you guys to check out if you really want to. But otherwise, yeah, this concludes today's makeup look. I actually love how the eye makeup turned out. I wasn't sure at the beginning with the eyeliner. I was like, oh, did I ruin it? Like, should I have just left it with the eyeshadow and then the Diamantes? But no, nah, I really like it. I really like how the purple eyeliner looks with it. 
please let me know your thoughts though if you guys liked it please comment down below and let me know if you didn't like it if you change it up a certain way please let me know i always love learning from you guys otherwise i hope to see you in my next video i love you all so so much and i hope you appreciated something a little bit more easy to recreate oh if you have any requests as well please let me know because i'm struggling with ideas at the moment <laughs> otherwise i love you all so much i'll see you very very soon and have a great week bye